Hey, Jim here from K2 Concepts, shooting a series of videos on some blast cabinet upgrades. Uh, it's important to note that I am by no means um, an expert on sandblasting. We do it more out of necessity, but I have learned quite a bit on the way. Uh, I'm a quick study. One of the things that we're running into is uh, that we are experiencing surging in our guns. And in my research, it can be uh, it's probably more than what I've looked up, but the two uh, big reasons are your media is contaminated and or you have moisture in the media. Uh, so for us, number one, our media is filtered, so it's not that. Number two is we have a refrigeration dryer that is one and a half times the capacity of our 15 horse uh, compressor, which puts out a lot of air, I think 55 CFM. So it'll, it'll uh, cool up to 70 or 80 CFM easily. Um, so we're actually over. Uh, ever since we put the refrigeration dryer system in, we have not replaced any desiccant filters in the whole system. Uh, so I know it's removing the moisture. It's not that we drain our tanks. We haven't found any moisture and it. it works very, very efficiently. So it's not contamination as far as air and it's not contamination as far as trash. So the bottom line is it's just a poor pickup tube design. In researching it, I think a siphon feed is the way we want to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to build our own siphon feed. Uh, it's also important to know that uh, in my research, I think you can buy a siphon feed tube itself for a little bit less or about what it's going to cost you to make it yourself. Okay. So they usually run about 40, 45 bucks plus shipping. So it's probably going to run you 60, 60 to 70 bucks to get it to your door. It's going to cost you about that uh, to build it yourself. So if you factor in your labor and everything else, it might be cheaper uh, to bring one in, a siphon feed tube, you can find them uh, on the internet. Uh, but for me, because I'm just a do-it-yourself kind of guy, we're going to go ahead and build our own. Now, on top of that, initial purchase of the siphon feed, you're still going to need some hose to get the media from underneath up into your cabinet. You're going to need some kind of adapters to, to get it into your cabinet to get it over to your gun. You're going to need some kind of flange where it drains and a fitting to go on that flange. So you're still going to spend probably another 20 or 30 bucks roughly. So it's going to cost you about a hundred bucks total. Uh, and so which way you go, that's up to you. Uh, because I can work with copper and I uh, just want the challenge of being able to do it myself, I went to do it yourself uh, road. So um, you're going to have uh, some copper and some fittings. You're going to need, uh, again, a flange, a fitting to get onto it, um, a 90 to turn it, your delivery system. You're going to want a T, and up here, we're going to put a little uh, uh, air inlet so you can meter the air in and then back out into your feed and up into the cabinet and that's where we'll utilize all these other things. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these fittings, I'm going to solder it together and then show you guys what we come up with on part two and we're going to do an installation on part two. This is a quick uh, rundown to let you know what this series of videos is going to be all about. So, a uh, little Corona for the haters, a little hater aid. Um, join us on the forum, k2forms.com. You can email me, k2forms at gmail.com. Uh, you can buy your uh, activator, paint guns, and other supplies on k2shoponline.com. And that's it for this one. Stay tuned. I hope you guys are having a good day dipping. We'll talk to you later.